sono le 3 e, e quasi 3 e 10. 13? 3 e 10. Sì, sotto solo? Sì.
benvenuti a questo eh, saluto per la giornata europea di musica antica. Siamo in collegamento streaming, quindi ci vedono un po' da tutte le parti del mondo e si sarà possibile poi anche vederci ed ascoltarci in futuro. Eh, faccio un saluto in due lingue, oltre all'italiano. Eh, abbiamo qui eh, Riccardo Castagnetti che introdurrà il concerto eh, eseguito da eh, Stefano Innocenti. Siamo molto felici perché Stefano Innocenti è un amico del festival da tantissimi anni. Eh, è una giornata anche un po' particolare perché abbiamo perduto eh, eh, Maurizio Pollini, un ricordo che penso dobbiamo tutti insomma, avere nel nostro cuore, nella nostra memoria. Welcome to the concert offered by Grandesse Meraviglie, festival musicale estense, to celebrate Early Music Day uh, 2024. Riccardo Castagnetti will introduce the program and Maestro Stefano uh, Innocenti will play uh, 16 sonatas by Domenico Scarlatti on the harpsichord. On this occasion, we would like to pay respectful tribute to Maestro Maurizio Pollini, who passed uh, away today. Uh, bonjour, uh, bienvenue à tout le monde. Uh, on est ici uh, dans, le, dans, le, dans le lieu d'organisation du Grand Est Meraviglie, c'est notre siège. Uh, on, veut, uh, on veut donner ce concert pour célébrer les, uh, la journée de musique ancienne. Euh, avec Riccardo Castagnetti qui introduira le, le concert et Maestro Stefano Innocenti euh, qui euh, vous euh, donnera euh, 16 euh, sonates de Domenico Scarlatti. Euh, C'est une journée un peu triste, il faut euh, rappeler les noms et les personnages et la... Et la e la beauté della musica che ci ha donato eh, Maurizio Pollini, che è morto eh, oggi. Eh, Buon ascolto e alla prossima volta, alla prossima Early Music Day. Merci. Born in uh, 1685, the same year as Johann Sebastian Bach and uh, Georg Friedrich Handel, Domenico Scarlatti was the son of the famous Neapolitan musician Alessandro. Trained by his father as a composer and keyboard player, Domenico became soon well known for the quality of his harpsichord playing. Scarlatti held positions in Naples, Florence, Venice, Rome and Palermo before making the long journey to Lisbon where beginning in 1719, he served as court harpsichordist to the King of Portugal and music teacher to Princess Maria Barbara, a talented keyboardist herself. When the princess married the Spanish crown prince in 1729, she took her music master with her to Madrid. Thus began a 25 year period during which Scarlatti had no other obligations than to teach the queen and her children to compose and to perform regularly on the extensive collection of harp records and fortepianos of the Royal Palace. Until his death in 1757, Scarlatti composed mainly instrumental music, especially many of his keyboard sonatas. This outstanding collection of some 600 pieces is particularly notable not only for its sparkling virtuosity, but also for the expressive use of the keyboard and for its elegant and sophisticated harmonies. Scarlatti's sonatas defy any attempt at classification. Influences on his music may come from instrumental or vocal styles, from contrapuntal or dance forms, or from a mixture of other learned or popular references that Scarlatti makes less recognizable by a touch of deliberate extravagance. Within the limits of the binary form, Domenico Scarlatti creates harmonic and stylistic innovations that were unprecedented in the history of keyboard music and that have inspired generations of keyboard composers. However brief, Scarlatti is able to create within each sonata 
perfect miniature words full of drama, excitement, color, and beauty. While it is certainly true that Scarlatti's personal contact with the music and musician of Spain and Portugal undoubtedly shapes much of his musical imagination, what uniquely characterizes his style is the synthesis he was able to achieve through an innovative and personal use of the keyboard. In this sense, Scarlatti can truly be defined as a European musician. Thank you.
suonerò una corrente di Bach.